Morning, Morning everybody. DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. Now, last night was the uh, NFL draft. I didn't watch it. Charlamagne, did you? No, I did not watch the NFL draft last night. No, I wasn't into it. All right. Well, what else we got, Yeezy? Salute to all the brothers that got drafted, though. Absolutely. Well, let's start in North Carolina with Andrew Brown Jr. He was shot and killed while he was in his car. And four of the officers who were on the scene have been reinstated. They were at the scene of the shooting. But according to the sheriff, they said they had not used their weapons. So they are being reinstated to act, reinstated to active duty. They said they looked at body camera footage and other evidence. Sheriff Tommy Wooten said it's obvious for the deputies never fired their weapons and deserve to be reinstated to active duty. More investigation is necessary into the three deputies who did fire their weapons and they will remain on administrative leave. Now they are all also asking people not to rush to judgment and pushing back with their own check the facts narrative. What case so was this? What they are, this is in North Carolina. Okay, Andrew okay. Brown Jr. who was yeah. shot and killed while he was in his car. He backed up, went forward. And remember the family was allowed to see uh, just a few seconds of that footage and they haven't mm -hmm. um, released that footage yet. So... The family, though, is pushing back against what the sheriff is saying, and they're saying that there was no contact made because what the police are trying to say is that he backed up, moved forward, and made contact with them, with the police, and that's when they started shooting. But a relative of Andrew Brown Jr. has offered a different account of what happens. He does not want to be identified, but he told CNN that uh, Andrew Brown Jr. started backing up his car, and they started shooting the front windshield of his car. He said, and then he took off to go across the yard, and they started shooting the back window of his car. And there's also a photo that was shared by the relative that appears to show the sheriff department's truck in Brown's driveway. They also took pictures of Brown's car after the shooting that shows at least one bullet hole in the front windshield. So we are waiting for them to release that body camera footage. But a judge did rule the family was able to watch it, but it would not be made public for 30 days. Yeah, it's insane uh, for, for anybody to think that if you shoot at my car, I'm not my, my first reaction is not going to be to drive off. Like, I'm supposed to just sit there and yeah. let the bullets hit the car because you're the police? Like, no, I'm getting the hell out of here. See, now what the police are trying to say, right, is that he he was in his car moving backward and then forward each time making contact with deputies, and that's when they opened fire. That's what the police are saying. The family member is saying that is not true. Well, put out the full video then. Yeah, put out, put out the full video. <laughs> put out the full video. If y'all don't got there's, nothing to hide and y'all telling the truth, put out the full video. There's no way. I, I, I tell you, even in, in uh, towns where they steal your car. So, for instance, you know, uh, my car got stolen a couple of months ago, and the police seen him. But they couldn't give chase because they would it would drive us so reckless. So they said they gotta let it go. It's they they can't chase. They they can't just shoot at cars like that. You're not supposed to be able to do that. And if you and that's probably and and that's probably the reason why they don't want to release the video. Exactly. And if they didn't do that, then just put out the video and show us that y'all didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Well, Rudy Giuliani, they raided his home and his office, and he went on his radio show to talk about what led the FBI to. Uh, to conduct this raid and what happened. Here's what he said happened during the raid. About six o'clock in the morning, there was a big bang, bang, bang on the door. And outside were seven FBI agents with a warrant. And I said, you know, this is extraordinary because I've offered to give these to the government and talk it over with the government for two years. The agents seemed somewhat apologetic, I might say. They were very, very professional and very gentlemanly. The only time they got perturbed is at the end of the surge, when they had taken about, I'd say, seven or eight electronic items of mine, which is what they took. They weren't taking the three hard drives. I said, well, don't you want these? And they said, what are they? I said, those are Hunter Biden's hard drives. And they said, no, 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 no. We don't oh, even God. know what they are looking for with Rudy Giuliani. If Rudy was any other race uh, other than white, we would know exactly why they was there. Like, we would well, know. Well, he's going to... Don't worry, we're going to get to that. And he also said that the warrant was illegal. That warrant is completely illegal. The only way you can get a search warrant is if you can show that there's some evidence that the person is going to destroy the evidence or is going to run away with the evidence. Well, I've had it for two years and I haven't destroyed it. And they also got it from the iCloud. So there is no justification for that warrant. It is an illegal, mm -hmm. unconstitutional warrant. And why does Rudy have yeah. one of Biden's hard drive? He was joking. He was joking. Oh. He keeps saying, stop looking at my hard drive. Go to Hunter Biden. So I oh, guess he was joking. Oh, okay, okay. And in addition to that, this is what the basis of the warrant is, according to Rudy Giuliani. The search warrant is purportedly based on one single failure to file for representing a Ukrainian national or official that I never represented. 
So he's saying he didn't file as a foreign agent prior to dealing with Ukraine, and he said that is false. So why hasn't the FBI what, made uh made it public why they raided Rudy Giuliani's house though? I really feel like if he was any other race, we would know exactly why they were in there. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, in addition to that, by the way, since you know this was in Manhattan, you know New York is back open on July 1st. They're gonna fully reopen. Just giving y'all that it was. But what, is, was what is, the, but what does that mean? Like mm-hmm. fully open? Does that mean 100 percent capacity at restaurants, 100 percent capacity at venues, bars and clubs open? Like, what does fully open mean? Like, no. So what does it mean? Well, the stores, businesses, um, you know, offices, theaters—they're going to be able to operate at full strength. So full capacity. We open. We 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 lit. We back open and popping. Everything's open. 100. Uh, percent I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a I'm a cancer. <laughs> So I'm a July home body. 1st, though. It's not till July 1st, so it's not right now. I won't even notice. I won't even notice if the city's open or not, because I'll be home. Well, formerly it was the COVID-19 epicenter, so right now they're on track to reopen. But there's still time, because think about it. It's only, is it May yet? It's May tomorrow? May tomorrow. Yeah, so we still have a, yeah, we still got a couple of months. So if anything crazy happens, I'm sure they'll shut it back down again. But now if we keep on going on track like we are, we'll be back open July 1st. Now you can go back to Broadway, go to the theaters, tourism. So that's a big deal. I mean, I love the fact that people are going to be able to get back to work, especially Broadway and entertainment in New York City, because they've been shut. And New York is kind of built off of entertainment, you know. So the fact that they can get back to work, I'm happy for that. Yeah, but just because you open don't mean that people are going to, um, you know, start frequenting your, your functions and your venues. People are still going to be a little leery, you know. I think they're going to come out. Like, you look at some of those towns like your Atlanta, like your Texas, like those towns, uh, people are coming out. They never closed. They did close so, a little so, bit. So they yeah. wear, they wear a life yeah, in the beginning. They be, they no, the beginning. In the beginning, they closed. I don't, think, I don't think Florida ever closed. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is your front page news. 